to go. <laughs> all right, guys, the weekend is here. Rain part of the weekend, but not the entire weekend at all. We're going to break down when to expect it for you here. Temperatures in the 50s, certainly for most of us, but if you take a look up north, Right along the Canadian border of Vermont, we've got temperatures in the 40s, at least for some of us, like, say, Derby and also in Jay. It is 57 degrees, though, in St. Albans, doing a 59 Burlington, 54 degrees. Schuyler Falls will widen out. And again, we find a lot of 50s on the weather map, like, say, Saranac Lake, where right now it is 53 degrees. So first alert storm tracker. Things are looking fine out there tonight. We've got clouds. Clouds are thinner up near the Canadian border. You know what? Tomorrow, yeah, we've got the chance for a couple of rain showers. I think round about midday, including lunchtime, and then a better chance for rain showers come Sunday because of this mess out in the Great Lakes in the Midwest, and then a very good chance for rain again on Monday because of Nate. As a matter of fact, let's key in on Nate. You know, we talked about Nate earlier. It is a tropical storm. It is raining, and it's raining a lot over the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. This thing is going to make its way through the Gulf of Mexico, makes landfall late Saturday night into Sunday morning. This is 12 midnight. You can see that it's pretty close to New Orleans, perhaps just off to the east of there. Will it affect us? The answer to that is yes. Comes inland, drops a lot of rain, continues its trek to the north, and check it out by later on Monday. So now we're looking at Columbus Day. There's a bunch of rain around here. Now, if this thing wobbles a little bit, maybe it turns a little bit quicker as it's coming to the north, we'll find less rain this far to the north. But I think it's a pretty good bet. Southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, and certainly southern New England looking at some rain because of Nate. We'll continue to watch that for you. Oh, in the meantime, it's going to be kind of windy around here. Wind speeds as we look toward tomorrow morning, no problem. Look at this. By the afternoon, the wind is picking up. South winds in the teens, no problem. This is sustained winds, so we'll see gusts in the 20s. The wind hangs in there, it looks like, tomorrow night, so temperature's not dropping much. Pretty windy at least the first half of the day on Sunday as well. Because it's a south wind, temperatures are going to be up there. Future cast right through the overnight, no problems. Here's your tomorrow. It's a mostly cloudy day. Chance for a few showers to the north, I think, Round about midday, at least in the Champlain Valley. Otherwise, a lot of clouds. Tomorrow night, not bad, but watch what happens on Sunday. We're looking at rain showers, especially into early afternoon, and then a little sunshine, I think, by later in the day. Then we get you into Columbus Day on Monday. This is the rain from Nate. So a lot to watch as we head into the weekend. For tonight, well, I'll tell you what, let's start out with this. Mostly cloudy for tomorrow. It's going to be breezy. Chance for a couple of showers at midday. And then tonight it's going to be mild. Some cloudy periods around. The high tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s to near 80, at least for some of us, and the chance for showers midday. 76 tomorrow, 77 degrees on Sunday. With those showers and perhaps some thunderstorms in there, rain from Nate is around on Monday, 73 degrees, then it gets cooler. Mix of sun and clouds Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, from the mid-70s back into the 60s. And on Friday, we're in the mid-60s, and that day, the chance for a couple of showers.